So, welcome back. Another apps of the trade. Uh, today we're looking at apps uh, around the Watsim application and uh, there are actually several uh, where you can uh, look at Watsim information. Um, and a classic, uh, quite an old one, is the, the VATMAP uh, application. Uh, no thanks, not now. So a VATMAP is uh, a bit like the Iveo into the sky that we've seen before. Is an application that uses uh, one of them OpenStreet or whatever um, free maps as a, as a backdrop and then they put um, basically all the controllers and all the pilots on and you can see it's a Friday evening and it's really 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 busy here on the network. Um, we have quite a bit of coverage uh, in Germany and in, that includes Frankfurt. Uh, Bavaria interestingly is not covered as in <laughs> as was in Iveo uh, because we just looked at that and uh, but here we have a nice coverage uh, allowing us to fly from let's say Stuttgart all the way through Germany and a uh, bit of Belgium and, and Netherlands to um, Great Britain, uh, England here, um, which means Heathrow or any of the large airports. Now, um, VATMAP is also quite an old application. It's, uh, it's there for a long time. Uh, it is rather slow, especially on old hardware like mine. Um, and sometimes it does not work with the refresh, so you need to sometimes uh, check and refresh again because it looks as if we have certain coverage and we don't actually. Um, and uh, here you have a lot of options. Well, um, you can define uh, charts. What was that? Aerodrome charts. So there are some. There are some uh, very basic charts in this application. Um, I'm not sure from when are they uh, 2016 so they're probably quite old and they're very very simplistic but uh, i'm actually not sure where they come from uh, and i'm not using them so let's see is, is munich in there as well just to see i've never tried that actually aip netherlands no it doesn't look like it ameland uh, came so that seems to be dutch um, charts or something like that or yeah, AIP Netherlands. Hmm. You can look for friends. So if, if you register certain Watson IDs as friends, then pilots, you can see who is online right now. Then ATC, what ATC is currently online. So for example here, um, yeah, Berlin, Schönefeld, Frankfurt, and... Yeah, a lot of uh, German airports are active today and there's also quite a few center controllers as we've already seen on the map. Uh, come on. Um, then you can look at bookings, uh, who has booked uh, what and, and roughly when. And there's also some weather. Uh, so I can go and pull the weather from uh, Munich. And that gives me the Aviation Digital Data Service, ADDS, from Munich. Um, 31st of May, 1820 Zulu. So that is already over 20 minutes ago. Uh, wind from 140 with four knots, calf okay, which means it's good weather. Yeah, we have a few clouds. Um, 1812, QNH, so 18 degrees, 12 degrees dew point. Uh, and uh, QNH is 1025, no significant. So it'll be it'll be a relatively nice evening, although it's not exactly super warm, but 18 degrees is also not cold. Yeah, and then there are some settings uh, with this. Um, you can check, you can put in your Watson ID and uh, there's your map. So, oops, yeah, and that's what happens. <laughs> it crashes a lot. So I used to have VATMAP for quite a long time, but uh, I am uh, ha have replaced it now with some um, with some interesting options. So let's uh, turn that off and let's jump to my bit more modern newer iPad because 
there are actually some very interesting uh, new apps, uh, actually two. And in both cases for Watsim, they do allow you to uh, to do um, uh, to to actually have in in app purchase, as that's called. So you, you, it's small small amounts, but uh, they offer then additional services. But you do not need this for the basic functionality. So one of them is Watscope. So when you start that up, uh, you get this world chart, all right, and then. Uh, well, they all do about the same. You know, it's <laughs> it's it's always the same, basically. Okay. Um, so here we can see. Let me let me yeah. Let's do it like this. So we can see very nicely now the um, the various centers that are active. Uh, in orange, you can also see which of the airports are active. So we have something in Halle Leipzig. Yeah, there's a departure. There's one departure at the moment. All right, then um, what else have we got? Uh, uh, when we go here to Great Britain, we can see that there is uh, there is something. There must be a controller in London Luton. Mm -hmm. Okay. The controllers, uh, that is a little bit, yeah, here it is, London. Uh, London Center, Senior Controller, Top Down when no local ATC, we love feedbacks <laughs> and so on. And, so on. Um, and uh, yeah, now if you have the free version, there is some limitations as to which information you can get. You can uh, buy in, in for a couple of euros, you can buy the additional functionality, but to tell you the truth, it's not absolutely vital that you have it. Um, that is more than enough, uh, gives you a quick overview. Uh, obviously, because this is newer hardware, iOS 12 and all that, it, it performs much better and it actually requires iOS, I think minimum is 11. So my old iPad unfortunately cannot run these fancy new uh, Watscope uh, tools. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Uh, what was that again? Explore. Ah, oh, yeah. So we have 692 pilots, 128 controllers, and 12 observers online worldwide. Here, uh, that's what Watscope shows you. So that's about it, uh, what you can get with Watscope. I choose not to pay uh, for the additional functionality because I don't really, I'm not interested in who someone is and, and want to see Watsim information. Uh, I mean, this is open information anyway. But I don't see why I should pay money because I will hardly ever use it. So I chose to use it in the free variant as you as you see it here. Oops. Uh, right. Now the other is called Watt Traffic. Um, again, it's a... Uh, I mean, they're all doing the same thing. Don't get me wrong. You know. Um, so this is free too in its base uh, base form. Uh, what I like about this one here is that you can have this night mode, which uh, keeps the, the the intensity low. So if you are doing kind of night flying here in in your virtual home cockpit, um, and you don't want any kind of glaring white uh, displays uh, shine at you, um, yeah, you can put this in the night mode. I always like that. Uh, but you can also uh, choose to have a satellite. Uh, that means you, you have satellite imagery here. Um, I'm not sure where these come from. Probably something like Arc or Bing. I would th guess then you can have hybrid or you can have terrain. So that's that's a terrain map. It's probably some open... Oh, no, no, no that's actually Google. Okay, so yeah, very fair enough. Um, so we're here in Bolzano, for example. Okay, and you can see we have Austria online at the moment. Now... Um, with this one here, and I think that works without paying, is you can go here, enter your airport, Ikeo, say go, and then you get quite a bit of information. So I have to say this is probably the best of the three that I've shown you. Um, I I personally find it the, the most versatile. So EDDM, 1820, Zulu, they all run on the same. And I told you before that the current weather and that I see with my SkyMet that I've shown you in some other video. And here there is a delay 
because uh, Watsim and Diveo are not um, pulling information that often. And uh, they pull it from the same, almost, I think they pull it from the same source because they're almost always the same weather. Okay. Um, you can put it on auto update and it would uh, update information regularly, but uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need that. So we've seen this before QH 1025. Temperature 18, dew point 12, so dew point went down a little bit, calf okay, wind still from 140 with four knots, and uh, yeah, and you can switch between destination and alternate, so if I give a destination such as EDDB, for example, um, Schönefeld uh, Airport, or the not uh, yet functional and, hope, well, maybe never functional <laughs> Berlin Brandenburg Airport, oh, what a mess. Um, yeah, and then we have the weather in Berlin at the moment, uh, variable with two knots, so there's hardly any wind. Visibility is uh, uh, greater than 10 miles, and uh, so 9,990 sort of meters. Temperature is 21 degrees, so it's a bit warmer in Berlin than here, with 14 degrees uh, in the dew point, yes, and QNH 1021. So, um, I think this is quite nice. Now, if you pay a couple of euros in app purchase, you can get the kind of pro version or whatever that would be called. Then you could actually enter things like Munich and you can select the runway and then you can select uh, relatively current. If you have a Navigraph subscription, by the way, you can even update uh, the information uh, with Navigraph. I can select the um, the departure. So from Munich, you can see we are going via the anchor. Uh, the anchor nine Quebec. In the meantime, I'm still running on a slightly older ARAC. So for me, this was until recently anchor eight Quebec. Uh, they have updated it now. It's anchor nine Quebec. Goes to the anchor to the anchor. A waypoint there at the end and then your in route part would would start so um, yeah and it shows you basically um, where the departure goes and what departures are actually available for what runway so if you if you switch here and uh, don't forget you can scroll all right so we have a list now you do not get this uh, for free so for that you need to actually pay a couple of euros so if we take Berlin Brandenburg or Schönefeld, to be more precise. Of that here, and we can check if if we want to come via um, Bate Eight Zulu. Yeah, then it shows you. Um, it shows you here the route. Yeah, there's no, there's not much information. I mean, you can click and you get the Batel, um, uh, the name of the waypoint. But this is not a flight planning uh, tool, so. Uh, do you absolutely need to have this? No, uh, it wasn't that expensive. I wanted to check it out. Um, if you just want to know about coverage, you don't need to pay. But uh, yeah, I checked it out anyway. And uh, um, you can, by the way, hide the ATC All right, in this one or show the ATC because it can be a bit uh, covering up things. And the other thing is you can click on on an aircraft symbol say information and then comes all this up and i think the one or the other of these are not available if you view root and remarks i'm not sure which one are available if you have paid and which one are not but uh, yeah here you see his route by the way so he's he's left uh, where did he fly to anyway yeah, let me see what's that He's going from uh, Brussels, from Brussels to uh, LK, that's uh, Czechia, I think. Uh, what's LKPR? LKPR. Uh, I think you can actually show his route. So Prague, oh, so yeah, Elp, yeah, it's Prague. LKPR is Prague, the capital of Czechia. And you can also see the route of of that flight. So yeah, um, I think that works for free. I don't think you need um, 
I don't think you need, um, yeah, and then you can kind of scroll through through the route. Now don't ask me which one is paid and which one is not. I, I couldn't tell you. Currently he is actually here. So we see him where he is at the moment. So he has about a bit more than half of his flight already behind him. And you could track that pilot. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I would want to do that, but um, yeah, that's another option. And you can search. So up here is a search. You can search for a call sign, for example. You could search for CSA 67D if you if you know that your friend is flying a particular flight, you can go in here and you can uh, pull it up. Okay, so I think this is probably the best of the three, um, but you need a new hardware, so it wouldn't run on older like our, uh, the, the the iPad 2 that I have with an old iOS. Uh, unfortunately, they do not work. Yeah, which is a pity. But um, yeah, very handy tool for those of us that fly Watson. Right, that's it. Um, that's all the, the major tools that are available. Um, and uh, I hope that was uh, useful. Thanks for watching and until next time.